check, my check. One, two, one, two. Hey guys, Kim Barrett here, coming at you, talking today about podcasts and how they can benefit your business. Um, so you saw just before I was uh, dropped a big mic in front of you. Now, I want to talk to you a bit about podcasts and how they can benefit your business, but I also want to talk about some of the keys that you should think about and you should identify when it comes to using podcasts for your business. So first off, why would you use a podcast? Well, you've got to consider how much and how many different ways people like to think about it. I'm just going to take these off because they're distracting me. People like to consume content, right? How people consume content. Because if you think about it, we've got visual, like you're watching a video right now. You've got audio, listening to it. You've got people that just want to read something. And sometimes they want something to take away and to, you know, to think about it a little bit more. So there's lots of different ways in which people actually consume content. Now, that is one of the very first reasons why it's important to think about how people consume. Because yes, you can just do video, but if someone's maybe coming to work in a car, they want to plug it in through their Bluetooth, they're probably not going to want to have a video running because, well, you know, legalities, if you have a video running, you're sitting there on your dashboard, you might get in trouble. And you shouldn't do that anyway because you'd be focused on the road. So it's an easy way for people to be able to consume. And a lot of the time, you'll find that people who listen to audio listen to it a lot. That's what, If that's their chosen mechanism of how they want to consume content, then they'll listen to it a lot. And you can just look at the growth in podcasts and how many there are available, and it will show you as to why it's an important factor. Now, as I said, by no means is it the only way. You should definitely do video. You should write things. Um, you should uh, speak. You should do audio. But I like to think of it like a prong, right? Or if you like to think of it as a spoke in a wheel. So if you have a wheel, you have a, the middle part and then you have spokes coming off if you're riding a bike. If you just have one, it doesn't work, right? If you have more than one, it's when you start to be able to build momentum and things actually start to be able to work. So I highly, highly, highly recommend that you have a key focus on adding as many of these spokes to your wheel as possible. Now, if that should really be able to identify for you why it's important, the number of podcast listeners is dramatic. And you know, they're available on every platform, on iTunes, on, um, on iOS, on Android, on any platform you can think of. There are tons and tons and tons of podcasts available. Now, <clears throat> Do you have to do a podcast by yourself, right? Because people go, oh, I don't want to run my own podcast. Mm -hmm. Well, there's two avenues that you can use for podcasts. Now, I use probably the first a lot, which is being featured on others. So if you're watching this and you have a podcast as well, hit me up. I want to do as many podcasts as possible this year. I've already done one this morning, got two tomorrow. So if you're thinking of going, well, how do I run a podcast? You don't necessarily have to run one yourself. What you can do is you can leverage other people's podcasts. You can be a guest because yes, um, sometimes it's people that just have themselves and other times they also want guests to appear on their podcast too. So for you, that means that there's opportunity for you to be able to use that and be able to leverage that, right? So you can start to think of different ways as opposed to just going, well, do I have to run my own podcast? Do I have to do it myself? Short answer is no. You can leverage other people's podcasts and jump on them and engage, learn, and interact with them. Right? And then the second part is then you can also create your own. You can have your own podcast version. You can have your own version of a podcast and you can start to interact with people that way too. So that's the second option you have. Now, as well, to alleviate some of the heavy lifting, to alleviate some of the stress and pressure that people put on themselves, you don't have to do it by yourself. You can have a co-host. You can have several co-hosts. So what we did is we leveraged a podcast with one of our friends, um, Charlie Valor, and we created the Confessions of a Business Owner podcast, right? And what that did was that allowed us to not have to rely on just one person doing it because if someone's sick. The other person can run it if you're interviewing a guest and someone's sick, the other person can interview the guest. So it makes it really easy then for them to be able to do that, for them to be able to connect um, as opposed to always having to rely on just one person, right? Because if you have just one person um, doing it, sometimes it's not the best for interaction, it's not the best for connection, it's not the best for interactivity. And that's something that you could really start to think about and go, well, if it's me, 
and I don't have to do it. Maybe there's someone who has the tech ability to help run it, who has the promotion ability to help promote it, who has other aspects and other avenues, other avenues that they can do to promote that instead of just being you as opposed to just yourself in the promotion of it. Because not always do we need to do, do that, right? We don't always want to have it just ourselves. Now, how would you podcast? So now let's look at how do you podcast, right? Like you saw before, and I'll flick back so you can see, it. you can use uh, microphones where you've got podcasting mics, you can get little small ones that plug into your phone, which is how we record the audio for this video. There's several different ways that you can do it. Now, what I would recommend is that I'm not a podcasting expert. What I would recommend though, is you build up some in advance, right? You wanna get the first five, 10 podcasts done, recorded, get to get into your flow, into your groove, so that when you go out and you're doing more of them, you can actually ensure that you're putting out good quality and you don't wanna just release one and then it takes two weeks to get the next one done and you're gonna release it a month later or something like that. You wanna build up a bank, you wanna build up a big bank of uh, your podcast so that when you release them, you've got several dropping, you've got one, two, three, all the way to 10 and then you can keep recording and keep batching. So then you've got to choose how you do it. Uh, most podcasts, I would recommend the easiest way is just to do it audio only. Just to record your own audio, you can do video too. But then you can find podcasts that you can just plug into uh, your computer, you can find uh, microphones, that podcast microphones that you can plug into your phone. It's really a choose your own adventure. You can go through and choose and create any one that you, how you desire to be able to capture your audio. And as long as the audio is crisp, Right, and that's the big one because I listen to some podcasts, and if the audio is not good, it's not a good time for a listener. Right, even um, Grand Cardone, I listen to his podcast, and sometimes it's taken from his live recording of his shows, and he bangs into the microphone. And to me, it frustrates me a little bit. I still listen because it's uh, good content, but also I don't want to have that problem. I don't want to be just sitting there listening to static and rubbing noises and stuff like that on the mic because it affects my listening experience. Because that is the number one thing you need to think about for a podcast is the listening experience of them, right? But then how do you leverage them, right? You've got a podcast, you're featured on them, whatever it might be. Well, this is like another avenue of building a list, building a database of people that are interested in what you do, that are interested in and want to interact with you. So what you have the ability to is then to send people to different products, to different services that you run, whatever it is for you, you have then that ability. You have the ability to be able to direct them where you want. And as well, people that listen to a podcast, whether it's 10 minutes or 30 minutes, Anyone that listens to it in full is going to be interested in your products and services in some way, shape, or form. We've had several people now that have hit us up that have listened to every podcast that we've done, right? Across, across Confessions of a Business Owner, we have a new one called Agency Valley. We're going to release a new one um, called Certified Baller Podcast, right? There's so, like, if they listen to every single podcast that we've done, they're going to get number one, a lot of content, but they're going to know exactly how we operate our style, what type of person I am. They're not going to get bored of listening to my voice, um, right? They're going to have to like it on some level. So for you, if you have someone that sits there and listens to an entirety of your podcast, it's going to be great. It's going to be an amazing um, experience and they're going to be a much better customer, right? As someone who, or client who comes to you, they are going to be much more effective, much more interested in your products and services rather than anything else. So I highly recommend putting together a podcast for this purpose, guys, for the ability of you being able to build another marketing audience for you that's going to help you push forward in your marketing, allow you to get better results in your marketing and allow you to get more people coming to you, right? That's why I would use a podcast in my business. Now guys, if you've liked this video, if that makes sense to you, please give me a like down below, drop me a comment and let me know what is it um, else that you need help with when it comes to marketing, when it comes to business, anything that we cover on this channel, please do let us know in the comments down below and make sure that you subscribe so that you get this first before anyone else. And until next time, guys, I am Kim Barrett. You have all been awesome. Adios.